Welcome to It's Tomorrow News. I am Hena Talati. Let us have a glance at the headlines first. Tropical cyclone likely over South China Sea. Flash flood swept through the DC, Maryland, Virginia in US. Heavy rainfall causes floods, leaves 8 dead in Seoul. Tropical cyclone likely over South China Sea. Tropical cyclone is likely to form over South China Sea shortly and weather system will not have a long sea travel. After the landfall, the storm is expected to weaken over the North Vietnam and adjoining Yunnan plateau of the China. The remnants of the system may continue moving westward and a weakened low pressure will find its way to the Northeast Bay of Bengal. Favorable environmental condition may help emerging of a significant monsoon system over the Indian Sea and activate monsoon surge over the eastern parts. An invest area is presently located over the province of Hainan and Gulf of Tonkin in the South China Sea and satellite imagery depict a broad disorganized cluster of convective clouds. Though the environment analysis does not provide any distinct center of the circulation, but the support features suggest steady consolidation. Typhoons and tropical storms in the West Pacific and South China Sea do have history to travel across the Southeast Asian countries and enter Bay of Bengal as a weak system. Fresh flood sweeps through DC, Maryland, Virginia in US. Storms dump several inches of the rain onto the parts of the region in a short amount of time, Wednesday causing flash floods and flooding in DC and surrounding counties in Maryland and Virginia during the evening rush. Flood warnings are in effect for the city of Alexandria as well as Fairfax, Prince William, Prince George's and Charles counties. Parts of DC and surrounding areas in the Maryland and Virginia are also under the flood warning through 1.15 am Thursday as additional rainfall and flooding is expected overnight, the National Weather Service said. Storm team said more than 4 inches of the rain have fallen in the Prince George's County, 2.5 in the northeast DC near Minnesota Avenue, more than 3 inches at the Beltway and Route 301 and 1.5 inches in the downtown DC. Cars stranded in the floodwaters are blocking traffic on the Capital Beltway outer loop in the Green Belt, Maryland. Flooding has also shut down the southbound lanes of the 3rd Street Tunnel in DC, police said. The New York Avenue NW and Massachusetts Avenue NW Tunnel exits are closed due to the high standing water. They are diverting traffic to the 4th Street and New York Avenue NW and asking drivers to use alternative routes. Heavy rainfall causes floods, leaves 8 dead in Seoul. Seoul has received one of the heaviest rainfalls ever recorded in the decades. It has resulted in flooding of the city's infrastructure. The streets have been flooded with the rainwaters. The situation is such that the cars are floating on the roads and the excess water has reached the subway stations, flooding them as well. The rainfall has also caused the deaths of 8 people. There are reports of 7 people missing too as city braces for more rain. As the water has started to recede, the deserted streets can be seen strewn with the buses and cars everywhere. Workers cleared away the uprooted trees, debris and mud using excavators and they also cordoned off the broken pavements and roads to prevent mishaps. Authorities issued the landslide warnings in 50 cities in the South Korea and 160 trekking paths across the Seoul and Gangwon were closed off. South Korea president declared that the heavy rains are expected to continue for the few more days. Koreans should remain alert and respond to the emergencies. The president also asked officials to issue proper warnings and take the necessary steps in the landslide or flood prone areas to avoid possible mishaps. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.